Hi, I'm Dan Romano, treasurer of the West Claremont School District. The state adopted a funding formula for school districts in 2020 known as the Fair School Funding Formula. The Fair School Funding Plan bases state funding on what students actually need to succeed. It treats all Ohio school districts and taxpayers fairly based on student need and the local capacity to pay. This formula continues the state's philosophy of distributing dollars based on the local wealth of a school district. This local wealth is known as local capacity and is measured by the local property value per pupil and the federal adjusted gross income per pupil. The local wealth philosophy creates an inverse relationship with state funding. That is, the wealthier the district, the state expects more of the per pupil funding to come from the local taxpayers. On the other hand, the less wealthy the district, the state will pay a greater share of the per pupil funding. In this past fiscal year, FY23, West Claremont, under the Fair School Funding Formula, as provided by the state, our revenue was $29.2 million, or 31.4% of the district's general operating fund. Districts are either on the formula or they are off the formula. West Claremont this past year was off the formula and fell into a guarantee category. What's the guarantee mean? It means the calculation was such that it fell short of what the district received in school year 2019. Because of that, West Claremont is guaranteed to receive the same amount of funds it received four years ago, meaning there's zero growth in revenue from the state. The state also pays a portion of the local property tax in the form of a reimbursement for the homestead rollback exemption provided to each homeowner. These payments are also known as the state's share of local property taxes. This amount totaled nearly $4.8 million to West Claremont General Fund in the last fiscal year. Most of the grant funding West Claremont receives is from the federal government in the form of non-competitive entitlement grants for specific purposes. These grants are known as title funds and include funding for students with special needs, such as those with learning disabilities, those experiencing homelessness, those that are economically disadvantaged, and those that are English language learners. Additionally, as a response to challenges from the COVID epidemic, the federal government provided relief funding for West Claremont schools in the amount of $14.1 million. This amount is to be spent over a four-year period ending with this current fiscal year. I encourage you to visit our website to explore more resources on this topic. And as always, if there are additional questions or concerns, we are always ready to listen. I'm looking forward to continuing the conversation on school finance with you. Thank you.